During the summer months, we often find ourselves tweaking some of our hunting blinds. This redneck blind was set up on the edge of the field, kind of as an observation gun hunting set. But during the past hunting season, we noticed a lot of deer were hanging out in the back end. So today, we're going to pick the blind up, move it a little closer, so this fall, we can bring those deer within bow range. That's the great thing about redneck blinds when compared to permanent wooden blinds. They're easy to pick up and move, and they're going to last a lifetime. Typically when we're setting up blinds, we want to find a way that we can approach the blind without alerting the deer. You can see a creek back behind me. Now that we're moving the blind further into the field, we're going to use the creek to access this blind. That'll allow us to slip in and exit without alerting many deer. We're up scouting the new blind location. We like this spot a lot. We're 10 yards from the creek so we can slip in and out without alerting the deer. Look back, we're right in the back part of this field. Deer like to come out in this little corner. The great thing about this spot is we know deer like especially bucks like to hang out at this back end, but there's a little point that comes out. It's gonna be a great spot for them to work scrapes, and it's 30 yards from the new location. Well, we're hoping last year's observations can pay off now. We got the blind successfully moved. Got up in it, you can see back part of the field where deer like to hang out. Straight out the vertical window, just perfect for a bow shot, so we can't wait for season to open up now.